Anyway, this is just a quick vid to show you this bucket heater I've used in some past videos. Haven't really talked about it in detail, but I thought you guys might be interested if you don't know about these. Alright, so let's go through it. 1000 watts of power, heats it to over 180 Fahrenheit, stainless steel guard, and the next two are really important. Will not damage plastic containers and great for use in the 5 gallon buckets. It's UL listed. I think that's over there and here. That's pretty much all the markings on the box and then you got the markings on the heater right there and that's about it. All right, and as far as the unit itself, just to get a close-up on it, there's the heating element right there. And the cylindrical piece of metal with the holes, that's just a stainless steel guard to keep it away from the, from the sides, especially when you're using like plastic. But anything, that thing gets as hot as a stove burner probably. You got the three metal rods coming out of it to there. Two of them are just the cord, I imagine, and then one's a thermostat. And the lighted three-prong plug, so it's grounded good, and it's got the light on it, presumably so you don't forget that it's plugged in, especially when it's dark. Here's the manual. It's just one small page printed in relatively clear English as they go. It's actually really good. Just some warnings, no big deal. It's pretty cool. Tells you how to use it exactly and the safety features that it's got on it. But now let me show you different ways you can use this around the house. Here it is in the kitchen sink. Fits great in the bathtub too. That's just a 1.5 gallon wastebasket, and it fits in with these. Probably heat that in five minutes. All right, now this is a two and a half gallon bucket. You can see the element submerged already. And finally, there it is in the five gallon bucket. Let's set a timer. Well, it's 8.40. I'll take some temp measurements as of 8.40. Okay, 8.45, so five minutes. Now let's see what we got. 101, 102, perfect. Now nine minutes. 114.5, 46 Celsius. Looking good. All right, that's it. 12 minutes, 8.52. Here's the temp of the water, mid-120s. Almost forgot this part. Let me give you the watt and amp and power readings on this. Now let's plug this in briefly, and I'll give you the, uh, the power readings. Jumping from just over to just under, so that's a thousand watts. This is the amps, just over eight. That's the volts out of the wall and just the hertz out of the wall. So just over to just under, perfect. And about 8.3 amps. Then when I'm done, pretty much just let it cool a little bit, take it out and dry it off. It's stainless steel mostly, so it'll stay looking pretty good. Almost new for a while. Probably a long time. Just want to give you a final shot to show you. No damage to the bucket. So the wrap up on this is that it's worked perfect so far. I've used it a few times, plus a few times with the water to air heat exchanger. Haven't had any problems.
works as advertised, hovers right around the 1,000 watts of power, and I've never heated it up to the 180, but I'm sure it would get there.